is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i want to talk about the tv series that we were told was coming uh not really coming but the tv series that was planned to follow up from uh, jeepers creepers 3 and even before jeepers creepers 3 came out there was a lot of discussion in regards to the character of the creeper taking of uh, taking a step down from the big screen and then making his way to the small screen so there's been discussion of doing a tv series for quite some time if i'm not mistaken uh originally jeepers creepers 3 was called jeepers creepers cathedral it was set 23 years later as we all know it had trish jenner in it it had the taggarts and they were teaming up to take down the creeper uh trish also had a son now named Derry after the brother she lost from the first film that of course is not the movie that we got we ended up getting a third film that was set in between the first and second movies uh apparently though if anyone is recalling what jonathan breck said a few years ago after the release of the third film that we got jeepers creepers cathedral the script that was originally supposed to be the third film that got turned into a one season tv series from what he said um and from what i have understood and what i have gathered just by researching things online and being in countless groups on facebook uh that is in fact what cathedral is it's been turned into a one season tv series so the stuff that happens 23 years later it's written for jeepers creepers 4 as well i know that much uh reports came out about that and gina phillips even confirmed that victor has written what would happen after the first three films and he still has cathedral but it's just been turned into a tv series now so i'm kind of wondering how how it would play out in my head if i were to do this i would probably put out the one season tv series uh which will start at the end of part two and then we can kind of get into a little bit more back or we can get into a little bit more development with this character we can introduce other characters in each episode maybe like a 10 episode series and we can bring back gina phillips we can bring back ray wise we can bring back all of these people we can bring back the character of giselle we can bring back a ton of characters from the first two movies and kind of spend a little time with them here before we bridge our way from the tv series into the grand finale that would be jeepers creepers 4 that's what i would do now if a fourth film is impossible i would then turn the tv series into the finale and i'm perfectly fine with that i'm perfectly fine with a series that had two movies and then it concluded in a good way on a television series with a one season 10 episode series i'm perfectly fine with that anything that would get the creepers anything that would get the character of the creeper out there have him presented in another menacing light uh bring his character back to form bring all the elements that made the first two films very entertaining back uh bring back all the characters that everyone loved from the first and second films just do everything possible to end this property on a high note the tv series i don't think it's going to actually happen ever same thing with the fourth film i don't think these are ever going to happen but if they do that is what i would do in regards to putting them out there I would, I would do the tv series first and foremost and then bridge the tv series into the fourth film which will serve as the finale for the overall uh universe here that we have with the creeper uh because if a tv series happens if it's a 10 episode series i believe you would have time to explore the background of poho county you can dive in a little bit more into the mythos of kenny and brandon you can dive into a little bit more of what happened with trish t during this 23 year time frame what has she been up to we can get to know her son Derry, if that still is a thing that they want to have happen 23 years later i just would like to see how this could all be wrapped up in a nice bow and then i would still ignore the events of jeepers creepers 3 i would ignore it entirely act like it didn't exist uh, kind of just shun it i don't think victor really i don't think victor himself was pleased with the way 3 turned out i'm still sitting here to this day trying to question why he wrote the film that way and why no one kind of backtracked over him because there's several plot holes in it and he was once again the writer and director and i'm trying to figure out how did you write a movie that was just not only was it visually bad but then you also have a story that's horrible it's written horribly 
so many plot holes, so many things that didn't make sense, so many things that contradict the first two films. And I'm kind of hoping that if they do this one season TV series and a fourth movie, if it ever does happen, they will ignore the third film entirely and just recognize the first two films. The TV series is, like I said, Jonathan Breck, he said a few years ago in an interview, Jonathan Breck's the gentleman that plays the Creeper. He said that the script for Cathedral is now a one season TV series. So whether or not we will ever see that, that's up to Victor to decide, of course. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. What do you think about a TV series potentially coming? Would you like to see a TV series? What streaming platform would you like to see it on? Because I'm assuming that's where it would go. Uh, in the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.